The city had seen it all. Towers scraped the sky, reaching for the heavens, a testament to human ambition and ingenuity. Lights blazed through the night, illuminating the streets like veins of energy. People rushed, always rushed, driven by the pulse of the city. But then came something new, something impossible, a phenomenon that defied logic and science. A man lay sick, his life hanging by a thread. Doctors said, no hope. His family prayed, their hearts heavy with despair. Then, a woman touched him. A simple touch, yet profound. He opened his eyes as if waking from a long, dark dream. He stood, he walked, he was healed. Words spread like wildfire, igniting hope and curiosity. From room to room, whispers flew. Conversations buzzed with excitement and disbelief. A miracle in the hospital? Could it be true? Doubt mixed with awe as people grappled with the extraordinary event. Eyes wide, people shared stories. Tales of the miraculous spread like ripples in a pond. Some scoffed, dismissing it as a trick or coincidence. Some prayed, their faith renewed. But everyone felt it. Something had changed. A shift in the air, a new sense of possibility. The city held its breath. What would happen next? The future seemed uncertain, yet filled with potential. News traveled fast, phones buzzed, the internet exploded. A miracle healer in the heart of the city? Everyone had an opinion. Reporters swarmed the hospital. Cameras flashed. Everyone wanted answers. Who was this woman? What was her secret? Was it real? Skeptics cried hoax. Believers declared a miracle. The world watched and waited, holding its breath. Doctors were baffled. Tests showed nothing. The healed were healthy. But how? Science demanded an explanation. Experts arrived from everywhere. They poked, they prodded, they analyzed, they argued. But the answers remained elusive. The impossible had happened. How could a touch heal the sick? Was it faith? Was it something else entirely? The mystery deepened. The faithful rejoiced. God had spoken. They felt a divine presence, a sign that their prayers had been answered. The air was thick with joy and reverence, as if heaven itself had opened its gates. The cynical scoffed, just a trick. They questioned the authenticity, doubting the miraculous claims. To them, it was nothing more than a clever illusion, a ploy to deceive the masses. The city became a battleground of belief. Streets buzzed with heated discussions, banners waved high and people took sides. It was a clash of ideologies, a struggle for the soul of the community. Churches filled to overflowing, Every pew was occupied, every corner packed. The faithful gathered in droves, seeking solace and answers in the house of God. People sought answers, sought hope. They lit candles, joined hands in prayer circles, and whispered their deepest desires to the heavens. Could this be the miracle they had prayed for? Eyes filled with hope, hearts brimming with anticipation, they waited for a sign, a confirmation of their faith. The debate raged, faith versus reason, hope versus despair. Voices clashed, opinions diverged, and the room buzzed with tension. The miracle healer had become a mirror, reflecting the deepest desires and fears of the people. Each person saw their own hopes and doubts magnified, and doubts of the human heart. In the end, it was a journey inward, a quest to understand their own beliefs and uncertainties. The city pulsed with a strange new energy. It was as if the very air was charged with a sense of anticipation, a feeling that something extraordinary was about to happen. The streets, usually filled with the mundane hustle and bustle, now seemed to vibrate with a different kind of life. Hope bloomed in unexpected places, in the cracks of the pavement, in the smiles of strangers, in the laughter of children playing in the parks. It was a hope that was contagious, spreading from one person to the next, lighting up faces and lifting spirits. People looked at each other differently. Could miracles happen? There was a newfound sense of connection, a feeling that they were all part of something bigger, something miraculous. Eyes met with a shared understanding, a silent agreement that they were witnessing something extraordinary. Crowds gathered outside the hospital, their faces a mix of hope and desperation. They came from all walks of life, united by a common desire for healing and relief. Seeking healing. The sick, the suffering, those who had lost hope in conventional medicine, all drawn to this place by whispers of a miracle worker. The desperate, all drawn to the possibility of a miracle. They prayed, they hoped, 
They waited, their hearts heavy with longing and their eyes filled with tears. Like the stories of old, of Jesus healing the sick, the city was transformed. It was as if history was repeating itself and the city had become a modern-day Jerusalem, a place where the impossible could become possible. It became a place of wonder, of questioning, of dreams rekindled. The dawn brought with it a sense of renewal, a promise of new beginnings, of the deepest longings of the human spirit laid bare. People began to reflect on their lives, their dreams, their desires, and what truly mattered to them. The miracle healer may have healed bodies, but it was the city's soul that was truly touched. The interactions between the healer and the patients were filled with compassion, understanding, and a deep sense of humanity. But it was the city's soul that was truly touched. The sense of unity and joy that spread through the community was palpable, a testament to the power of hope and the human spirit.